Welcome to another episode of Fair of FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the end of the season. So we did do it, we are champions again. Um, it was a bit of a struggle actually because we, um, if you look at the squad, you have a lot of loanees. So it's a bit of a struggle trying to fit in the correct number of loanees and then pack everything else with players from the lower squads. But yeah, we managed to do it. Um, and we have one more match to play against Mansfield. We had our youth intake as well. So if you look at our under 18s here. Um, yeah, so we've got some nice potential from a few players. Um, some of these players have been in this team for maybe three years, like Wayne Stimson. I think he's, he's going to be his third year playing at this level which is good, we get some more value out of him. But yeah, we have some new recruits. Lucas Sheffield is probably the highlight. Um, he's deemed to be uh, a very good player going forward. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. We didn't do so well in the youth league, not as much as I thought, but we are going to get promoted anyway to the upper level because of the improvements to our youth facilities and youth level and so on. So, that was that was fine. Uh, if we look at the fixtures for the youth team, you'll see that we started the season well, and then they had a blip in the middle. Uh, and these are just friendlies I put together at the end of the season. Anyway, so youth team's going okay. We now have lots more players in the in the twenty ones as well, because I've now packed that team with some players that um, basically didn't fit into the under 18s anymore. Now, as far as the transfers, um, I did finalize some transfers. I can't remember actually if I showed you this or not, but I finalized some transfers at the end of the season. Um, and one of those transfers I didn't actually want to do is Kieran Morrison. I was intending on holding on to him, but uh, somebody decided to pay the release clause, which wasn't actually very much. And um, loan them back to us on a free loan. He's actually not playing in the main team. He's playing in the other tw 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 21s, but there we go. We made our first big sale. So that's the record um, amount that we ever got. Um, yeah, so it's the end of the season. Looking forward to playing the next league, League One. We don't have a lot of money, but it's... Um, you know, it's okay. We, we'll see how you know in the meantime we'll get um season tickets and sponsorship and so on so hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit more money our transfer budget is actually not very big it's only about a third of what it was last season so not not fabulous for this the league itself let's have a look at our player stats i don't think I don't think anyone's worth mentioning. I'm still I still have a cold, but by the way, so apologies for all the sniffing and so on. We might get some sort of goalkeeper award, but I think that's it. Anyway, we're gonna jump onto this match against Mansfield. And um Yeah, uh, I don't think we need to go cautious. Oh, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, and we're kicking off. Uh, so we're playing the last match away from home, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so the... Surprising, I wasn't expecting to get promoted again. So this is the third straight promotion I think we're getting in a row. Um, and it's been a bit of a surprise. I mean, it's quite enjoyable to be fair. Oh, that guy doesn't have a shirt. Is that right? Or maybe he's wearing... He's not the goalkeeper, is he? Is he the goalkeeper? I don't know. Seems like he doesn't have a shirt. But anyway. Um, yeah, so... Um, the... Uh, I was saying, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, it, it seemed a bit easy, to be fair. I mean, it had its difficulties, but... Compared to the previous versions of the game, it seemed a bit easier. And I think that had something to do with 
um, improvements. They made things like training and tactics and mainly like the finances I've noticed, they're not as bad as they used to be. Although at the moment, they, they, it's pretty bad. But um, yeah, we, we don't have a lot of money for next year. But I think still it's better than before better than um, the previous versions of the game where imbalances are s uh, s the, the finance was so imbalanced is what I'm trying to say <laughs> so the next bit is going to be fun putting together a team for League One without hardly any budget. So we're going to be relying again on loans, I presume. We now have a, a partnership with Manchester United anyway, so they might want to give us some players to play in League One. Um, I think that's probably an appropriate league for some of their youth, youth players. So we might rely on them a little bit. But again, the issue with taking lots of loans is league rules we can't play them all so we're gonna have to balance that with some other options of um, I don't think any of our own youth are ready to play in the senior squad but we might need to use other types of youth players from elsewhere uh, maybe another set of um, international players we had two this year on elite clauses um, and and obviously some retirees as well some people that just want to do one last season um, yeah so it'll have to be a mixture like that I think given our lack of finance And of course, because our squad is, the majority of, of it is made up of loans, a lot of the players will leave. So a lot of the squad that we have now won't be here next year. Um, and so if we look at the, if I put the list by the side here now. So starting at the top, the goalkeepers will still be around. Right side of the fence will also be around. Uh, Jensen Jones, he'll go back to his club, so we'll lose one of our defenders left. And then uh, we'll have Alex, we'll have Sony, we won't have Henry Fildson, he'll go back to his club. And both Philip and uh, Jokubaz, they'll both go back to their club as well. Karaka is going to retire. Genie is going to go back to his club. Lewis is going to go back to his club. Both AMRs will go back to their clubs. Frankie will go back to his club, and both strikers. Well, one of them is going to is going to retire. The other one is going to go back to their club. So our squad's going to look quite a lot different next season, through you know necessity. Candola. I mean, this match doesn't really matter, to be honest. We have already run the league. It's more the case of achieving a few more goals or so for our players. Particularly Paulo Guerrero, our um, striker. Serve in a moment. Mm. 
Okay, so who's going to... I think has to be Nathan, he's injured. So going back to our squad, I'm going to delete the players that we're no longer going to have access to next year. I mean, they might come back, because often what I do is I go back and I buy them on uh, free transfers, or cheaper transfers, or yeah, or get them back on loan again. That also happens sometimes. Uh, these two are going to go as well. Okay, so that is what the squad's going to look like next year. Only those players are, at the moment, contracted to stay. Everyone else is either a loanee or someone who's retiring. So that is the bare bones that we'll have starting the transfer window. Some of those players might still go because I might still replace them or they might not want to renew for whatever reason, although I find that unlikely. There's still one guy with that shirt walking around. I don't understand why that is. That guy there. There we go. Not sure why he doesn't have a shirt. But anyway, so let's just go through these a bit. Okay. See if I can get any indication of any. Up numbers, they've changed. Um, we'll just run through this very quickly. I don't think we're going to get any awards. And obviously the other thing that I also do is go to the dev and terminate any... Oh, I can't. Why can't I do that? Oh, I should be able to, because they've all set to not... Um, uh, yeah, I've set them all to be able to send them back, but anyway. Uh, ba -ba -ba. There was something I was going to check. What was it? based on this inbox item. Uh, oh yeah, let's see if I can ask for more things. I know we don't have the money, but it's always a good idea to ask anyway. Got a new scout. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think we're gonna get any awards. Anyway, so I'll leave it there. Um, yeah, so we'll come back next season for Skybet League 1. That's going to be quite exciting. In the meantime, off camera, I'm going to go and try and gather a squad. Um, and then I'll catch up with you then. Thanks so much for watching until the end. And take care. Bye-bye.